Lloyds and Halifax were locked out of their accounts after NatWest and RBS users suffered similar problems earlier today. The website Down Detector revealed there were 1,272 reports of problems with Halifax at the problem's peak just before 11 a.m., and 667 for Lloyds at around the same time. Lloyds and Halifax both had planned maintenance on internet banking, tablet and mobile apps from 11 p.m. yesterday to 5 a.m. today. Social media users voiced their concerns, with tweets reading, Lloyd's Bank already delaying my day. The app doesn't work, and, is the app down Halifax? One Twitter user said, love that Halifax is down when I need to pay rent. Another said, is there a problem with the Lloyd's banking app? I'm trying to log in but being asked for memorable info then being told I have been logged off. Appreciate your assistance. A spokesperson for Lloyd's Banking Group had told Mail Online, We know some of our customers are having issues with internet banking. We're sorry for this and are working to have it back to normal soon. They later said, we're sorry that some of our customers had issues with internet banking this morning and can confirm that services are now back to normal. NatWest and RBS banking services had crashed this morning, locking hundreds of people out of their accounts. Complaints poured in on social media that users cannot log in, check their balance or transfer funds. Website Down Detector reported that the apps looked to have crashed for customers across England, with 81 reports of problems for RBS at its peak just before 8 a.m. and 280 for NatWest at roughly the same time. Problems for NatWest and RBS users died down after the initial burst of complaints before thousands of users reported problems with Lloyds and Halifax at around 10 a.m. One Twitter user had complained, at NatWest underscore help is it just me or is online banking down this morning? I could log on 20 minutes ago, but now the page is unavailable. Another said, at NatWest underscore help online banking site down. Is this likely to be resolved soon? A third had said, NatWest Online Banking Down been trying for last half hour to log on and can't very annoying. NatWest responded to the tweet. I'm sorry you are experiencing issues. Saying, hi there. We are looking into this now. Sent, tweeting at RBS, one user said, at RBS underscore help I'm trying to log into the app but it just says, logging in. Is it down? Three other users replied saying they were experiencing the same issue. For ages and nothing happens. RBS responded to the thread, saying, sorry you are experiencing issues, we are looking into this. The Twitter user later said the issue had been fixed, and RBS apologized. A NatWest spokesperson told Mail Online, a small number of customers may have experienced problems accessing mobile and online banking for a short period this morning. We apologize for any inconvenience this caused. All services are back up and running as normal. Bank fail NatWest online banking and app down leaving customers locked out of accounts. Hundreds couldn't log in, check their balance or transfer money. Online banking services for NatWest and RBS customers crashed this morning, locking hundreds out of their accounts. People complained on social media that they were unable to log in 
check their balance or transfer money. The website and app crashed for customers all over England, according to website Tracker Down Detector. Some people managed to load the landing page before the website and app crashed again. RBS, which owns NatWest, says issues with both banks are now fixed. A NatWest spokesman said, a small number of customers may have experienced problems accessing mobile and online banking for a short period this morning. All services are back up and running as normal. We apologize for any inconvenience this caused. When the sun tried to log in just after 8.30 a.m., the website went down. The issues began at about 7 a.m., with 280 reports of problems at the height of the issues, according to Down Detector. The website was updated with a new design over the weekend but it's not known if the problems with online banking services are linked. More than 7.5 million people have personal bank accounts with NatWest. NatWest has a new debit card that allows you to pay with your fingerprint. The bank also has one of the most generous switch offers at the moment. It will give you £175 free cash if you switch accounts. Meanwhile, TSB has become the first bank to pledge to pay back all fraud victims.